Hello and welcome to World 302 Section 3 for Fall 2020. This is usually a course that I teach in a hybrid format except during the summer when it's taught in a totally online format. But because of the unique circumstances that we find ourselves in for this semester, this is going to this course is going to be taught totally online in an asynchronous format, which means that we will not have any um, Zoom meetings, but you will be working uh, independently um, online. And I wanted to walk you through the website and talk a little bit about the assignments and make sure that you understand what it is that you should be doing uh, this first week of classes. So when you open up Blackboard, this is what you will see initially. It's the weekly schedule with an overview of the assignments, first of all, and then a weekly schedule, which um, outlines how I recommend that you work through the material so that you see for the first day of classes, what I'm asking you to do is to read this, the syllabus carefully. I know the syllabus is quite long but it's important to have an understanding of how, how the course works. If you don't have the syllabus, it's available over here in the link of syllabus. For Thursday, you should have started working on the tutorial for Unit 1. So after you've gone through the syllabus, that's what you should be looking at to do. You'll find the tutorials over here under Tutorials. If you click on that, you'll see the one for Unit 1. We'll be doing seven units in this class, and uh, that means a unit every two weeks. If you click on the unit link, it will bring that up. And the first thing that you'll see is this reminder. Submit your, to submit your score, click the Finish button on the last page, and then click Continue. That's an important reminder because what happens when you click on that finish button on the last page of the tutorial, it will send the information to Blackboard that you have completed the tutorial and also record your score in the Blackboard gradebook. So the way these tutorials work is there are typically seven pages. You see this first page is an introduction and it tells you a little bit about uh, the content for the class for for this uh, excuse me for this uh, particular unit and then um, you will move on to the second page which you can do either from the link up above or this next button at the bottom so I'm going to go ahead and do that this is the so-called opener and that is a advanced organizer for the content of the unit um, in this case it's a short video that illustrates the complexity of uh, identity formation in today's world and um, illustrates that through a short rap video so the idea for these openers is that you play the video think about as you're watching think about these questions and then go on to the next page for some commentary by me this is a video that I would assume most of you are not able to understand because it's in a mixture of German and Turkish. This um, hybrid kind of language is not unusual in some communities in some parts of the world where you have immigrant communities coming into long established communities as is the case with Turkish immigrants to Germany. So uh, the idea here is, as you're working through the tutorial, read through uh, what the point of this opener is and how it illustrates what it is that uh, will be discussed in, the, in, in this particular unit. The next link is to the chapter, corresponding chapter in the textbook. Now, this um, is something that you can read on screen you could also click here if you want to read it as a PDF or print it out. It's also available in Blackboard if you go to the readings 
uh, link, uh, readings tab, you'll see that that's available there as well. This is the same content that you can read here within the tutorial or that you can read as a, a separate document. This is kind of the core of the content for the course, so make sure that you read through. Um, this is something that I will expect you to be referencing in the discussion forums and also in the reflective journals. There is a short um, video um, which is a narrated presentation for each unit. Uh, this is me trying to highlight some of what's particularly important in that particular content and the content for that particular unit. This is something you can view here in line. You can also view it on YouTube. You can print out, if you want, uh, a lecture outline to follow along. Um, and this also is um, good content that you can reference when writing your, uh, in your discussion forums and um, in your reflective journals. If you're looking for more information on any of the topics that are touched on in this unit, this gives you some starting points, some links on that deal with some of the topics that are raised um, in that chapter and also in the video. And finally, the last page is where you have the self-check exercises. And at the very bottom, you, this is the finish button that I mentioned at the beginning. So as you work your way through these questions and answer the questions, there'll be a variety of formats. Some will be uh, multiple choice, some will be multiple answers in the case here. So you want to mark all correct answers. What does it take to be effective in communicating across cultures? That's one of the things that's discussed in the chapter and also in the video. Um, some knowledge of the other culture is very helpful. Skills in communication, study abroad is good, but you really don't need it. Family support, not really. It's important to want to communicate, otherwise communication is not going to take place. So you can check your answer. Great. We've got one point for that, so I can close that window and go on to the next. You'll see that the score is kept up here. Now you can go through these tutorials up to three times and uh, Blackboard will record your highest score. So if you mess up, uh, don't worry about it. You can go back. In fact, within uh, one session with the tutorial, you can still go back and improve your score on an individual question if you want to do that. And each of these is worth 15 points. It's not a, a large point value in terms of the total for the class, but it does let me know that you've worked your way through the tutorial. When you click on that link at the bottom, um, that sends that information to Blackboard. Okay, and you don't need that, that score uh, receipt. So at this point, you've finished the tutorial. You can go back um, or you can go back um, to the beginning of the tutorial, uh, or you can just click out of that, close that window, and then you're, you're back to Blackboard. So that's how the tutorials work. Um, I'm planning to put together um, a, another short video that I will post online um, uh, later, later this week or early next week.